What is up guys? Long time no upload. Well, they finally did it. We have one hell of an update coming for us with the Endless Archive, okay? I don't normally start videos like this, but these sets are incredibly broken. Well, not not all of them are incredibly broken, but you know on this channel our bread and butter is the Dragonite, and what have I said, chat? Or chat, guys, what have I said, YouTube? If you give Dragonite's major heroism, you will break ESO. Well, guess what? Not only do we get major heroism, but we're also going to get minor heroism from these sets, so let's cover them. Alright. So, this is the Endless Archive. So this is the, the gauntlet that was promised to us. Uh, I think this is coming out October 30th, so sometime next month, end of next month, you know, around spooky time. So, we're going to go over these sets. Um, some of them are kind of underwhelming, but the very first set on the chopping block up here, I, I, I can't close out all these ads. I, sh I should really download an ad blocker. So, we're going to go through each set. So, what these are, they are class augmenting sets, which is a unique idea. I, I've said this on stream like probably like 15 times. Like, there needs to be some sort of unique sets to each class to give them specific buffs and lo and behold this has already been in the works i'm you know great minds think alike you know what i mean so let's go through these sets i'm gonna give you my opinions on each now i don't have a lot of time on templar for example uh, so i'm not sure how these damage numbers are, are going to come into play and there are no damage numbers right now so depending on some of the damage numbers these could be extremely overpowered but the very first set is the the basalt blooded warrior. Let me let, let me let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. I should I should have done the thumbnail like this. This what? Geez, this, anyway, so uh, basalt blooded warrior can give you recovery, health, weapon, spell damage. Cool. Yeah, whatever. The five piece casting an earthen heart ability grants you basalted blooded warrior buff for 20 seconds all right what's it do on uh, a 20 second cooldown so 100 percent of time while on your front bar you gain a molten stance granting you major heroism and minor heroism generating four ultimate every uh one and a half second i mean these ads are really annoying while you're on your back bar, you gain Obsidian Stance, increasing your healing done and your damage shields. We don't care about the damage shields, but guys, this is a front bar, or you can back bar this set even. And these buffs, the, these are incredible. Like, I'm sure you guys maybe have PTSD, like myself, from, from the Oaken Soul meta, when you used to be able to get major heroism on that, and then you pop minor heroism potions, and you pretty much have that 100% of the time. Now, while... You do not have this major and minor heroism 100% of the time. You still have access to it, which is incredible. So the longer you're on your front bar, the more ultimate you're going to regenerate, the more devastating you're going to be. You're going to just, just remain in corrosive. Um, this is going to be a huge buff for the Dragonite. Uh, all these sets uh, in their own regard are, are pretty good, except I, I don't understand the, the, the Necromancer. We'll, uh, we'll go over that, but yeah. Let me know about this one, guys. Like, I don't know if you're a fan of Dragonite or whatever, but Dragonites are probably going to be king of PvP. You're, you're rarely going to see a Dragonite that's not in Corrosive. So, um, maybe they, they tweak the timing on this. I don't really know. But again, all these sets are geared toward PvE and us PvP players. It just kind of trickles down into us. But yeah, given Dragonite free access and major heroism, that, that's, that's a rut row territory. Okay, so the next set is Gardener of the Seasons. This is a Warden specific set. So, two piece healing done, recovery, weapon spell damage is great. The five piece casting a green balance ability gives you Herald of Spring, causing your green balance overheals to apply minor heroism for three seconds. They're really doubling down on this ultimate regeneration. I think that's going to be really important for this gauntlet activity anyways casting two non-green balance class abilities within two seconds consumes herald of springs and gives you harbinger of fall for 10 seconds causing your green balance overheals okay to create an eight meter area for five seconds okay pr pr pretty girthy all right applying major maim which is very hard to get that debuff, by the way. Major maim to enemies and minor vitality to allies. Oh my god, dude. For PvP, like, I understand PvE. This is, I mean, this is probably, you know, whatever. But from a PvP standpoint, giving your allies minor heroism, minor vitality, 
And you already give the minor toughness, you know, from the, the, the passes on the board. But also, major maim in an AoE? Bro, you are going to be so tanky. You're going to tank your allies up like crazy. This is a very, very strong set. Um, Actually, I may even run this on my Warden instead of <laughs> Mars Bomb. I mean, if everyone... I think Major Maim is 15% damage reduction. Uh, don't quote me on that. Plus, she get minor vitality, minor heroism. This is an absolutely insane set for the Warden. Uh, this first two sets out the rip is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Uh, the... Next class is, uh, I'm assuming, Cure to Room Form. Uh, no, no, fuck, Monolith. Okay, so this is for the Sorcerer, okay? So I don't know why you don't put the Max Madge from the the Arcanist on the Sorcerer class. Um, like, for PvP, that'd be nice, but for PvE, you know, I you know everyone stacks weapons for damage anyway, so I, I guess the, the game can't really cater to us, you know what I mean? But uh, we'll, we'll go over the, the set. It's really pissing me off that this keeps moving so i'm gonna hold i'm gonna hold this right here to see if it budges every sing, single time an ad changes on the the page man this, this, this is annoying outcast come on man anyway critical chance weapon spell damage weapon spell damage cool dealing damage with a storm calling ability initial hit or every fifth tick you know like your lightning storms hurricane whatever creates a monolith near the enemy for 10 seconds up to every one second you can have up to three monoliths active. Monoliths linked to each other. The monoliths deal damage. Okay, even if I hold it over there, so it doesn't matter. I deal damage at 20 meters of each other. Each link deals X amount of shock damage every two seconds. The enemy can only be hit by a shock every two seconds. So, this is kind of like, I forget what weapon it is from Destiny, where you just kind of shoot it on the ground and then it just like tethers all the nodes together and does a, a metric crap of lightning damage in that area. So, this is awesome, dude. Um, it does kind of suck you don't get to control where these monoliths are going, right? But, depending on the damage, this could potentially be a game-changing set for the Sorcerer. Um, especially for PvP, because you definitely need the love, right? So, depending on the damage, you know, this this dealing X shock damage is really going to be the de determinative factor of how this is. And, uh... It says your mods within 28 meters of each other. This could sprawl out to a metric shit, a metric crap load of square area. You know, you triangle, trig math, you know what I mean? So 28 meters of each other, you know, one half base times height, you know, that'll, that'll give you the area of the triangle, you know, whatever. So this could potentially be crazy. Um, who knows? And there are other sets that this stack with as well. I can forget off the top of my head when you deal shock damage, you know, some effects happen. So I, I do see a lot of synergy with this set. I think this would be pretty interesting to see. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely try it on the PTS when it comes out and uh, just kind of go over these sets and see what it's all about. So next um, is the Necromancer. So you're going to get health, health, uh, healing taken. Casting a Bone Tyrant ability while in combat grants you a bootyful corpse. Minor protection and minor resolve. I, that kind of sucks because you already have access to minor resolve and minor protection at all times anyway. Um, for 16 seconds, reducing your damage taken yeah, yeah, in your armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this effect can occur every 20 seconds and is reduced two seconds by sliding more time. But casting a corpse consumer ability consumes beautiful corpse, treating you as a corpse. I, th this seems underwhelming off the top of my head um, you never have to worry about generating a corpse or laying things down on a corpse to get additional benefits but I don't think the class really did that anyway um, if I'm not mistaken so you could potentially your your bone boy ultimate your your your, your raised blast bones or whatever since you yourself counts as a corpse that ultimate can now summon what what you can summon blast bones three other blast bones and then does yourself count as another one so you can have five blast bony boys charging at someone now again i'm looking at this from a pvp standpoint not necessarily pve uh this just seems underwhelming to me I, I i don't recognize off the top of my head some of the synergies that you could possibly have with this uh, maybe someone more familiar with the Necromancer could let me know, but I'm pretty f familiar with the kit, and other than like Boneyard and uh, a couple other Healy abilities, you're not really consuming corpses, so um, again, I feel like this is more of a support 5-piece instead of a damage 5-piece, I mean, you can kind of tell by 2, 3, and 4-piece, right? But 
I mean, so far, nothing's comparing to, to minor major heroism on the Dragon Eye. I, I don't think the devs understand how this is going to affect PvP. I don't think they care, but... Oh, man, it's going to be a good time. Oh, it's going to be a good time. We're going to be running major force. We're going to be running... Oh, God, it is going to be a good time. Oh, the builds we are going to have, fellas. All right, so next is the Arcanist set. Max Madge across the board. This is Dog. That sucks. Casting a non-ultimate curative room form ability grants an effect for six seconds to your affected eyes based on how many Crux you had. That's me. I'm Crux. Um, at one Crux, that's me. Allies gain a damage shield that absorbs X damage. Okay. At two Crux, allies gain minor heroism. At three Crux, allies gain major protection. Uh, this this is super dog water for PvP. Uh, PvE, yeah, whatever. You can be immersive with your roleplay, but um, in PvP, the, the class, its kit just lacks damage because fake harbor just doesn't land half the time. Um, you have to like lead your shots by like a second and a half. It, 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 it's just terrible. But, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, man, I don't know why I'm running. It, it, it's like 5 p.m. at the time recording this. Again, uh, gear for PvE, this might be good. Uh, I don't really know um, how the, the gauntlets and stuff are going to happen. You know, maybe maybe these buffs are well sought after. I don't really know. But they're definitely going down the route of giving everyone, like, heroism. Uh, this class gets heroism. Uh, the uh, the warden gets heroism. The uh, the 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 night blade gets heroism and big boy heroism. So I'm definitely going down the ultimate generation route. I'm assuming that's really gonna be helpful in the the endless archive gauntlet to make sure you have your ultimates up as quickly as possible. I think you're definitely gonna need it in the later stages. So from from you guys don't know what the, the endless Ar endless archive is again. It's it's just like an endless gauntlet of you just killing waves and waves and waves of monsters and then apparently the the rewards get better and better and better and there's leaderboards and stuff but yeah that, that that's gonna be interesting we're definitely going to be partaking in that to ascertain this set at the very least and i wonder if you can only get this set if you are only playing that class you know what i mean and what if i get like a random piece of necro while i'm on the the sorcerer you know i really hope it's not like that i really hope the class you play ugh, excuse me i don't know i'm so tired is the set that you'll get so anyway, uh, moving on down to Soul Cleaver. I'm assuming this is Nightblade. Weapon, weapon and spell damage, max max weapon and spell damage. While in combat with at least 20 ultimate. Strengthen your... This is scary to... Any changes buffs to Nightblade. I'm going to go through this very slowly so I thoroughly understand this, okay? Hashtag buff Nightblade. Now, while in combat with at least 20 ultimate, strengthen your siphoning abilities. Okay. Just siphoning abilities, okay. At the cost of ultimate. Increase the damage and healing of siphoning ability by 17% of your current ultimate. Up to 200 from a minimum of 3% to a maximum of 34%. So your siphoning abilities... Oh man, wait, wait, it's healthy offering and siphoning abilities? So your, your healthy offering that's going to create heal you for 50. If it is, I'm not for sure where that ability is located. So pardon my ignorance on that one. But it already crits for like 15k in open world. So 34% increase to this would be kind of nutty. But it does consume your ultimate. So there there is a balance there. So um, underwhelming so far. Reduce the cost of siphoning abilities for 15%. Casting a siphoning ability drains you of your, your current ultimate. Okay, so this is... Ugh. Oh, yeah, yawn counter up here, right? Um, if I ever get an editor, maybe we'll, uh, you know, we'll do edity things like that. Uh, I just don't have the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this is more or less support. I mean, um, other than, uh, you know, PvP wise, the healthy offering, I was siphoning, you know, strikes or whatever, it really doesn't seem like it would be a big deal to just consume your ultimate all the time if you're using that as your spammable. So I, I don't see this as I, this. Whew, I was getting worried, like <laughs> re reading Nightblades on damage and stuff. So they're just giving it more. Uh, I, I'm assuming more survivability. You know, uh, I guess I, I'm not sure like what. This kind of feels supporty yet again. I I, I don't really know. Um, Nightblade for PVE. So if any of you Nightblade PVEers uh, know something that I don't, kind of let me know down in the uh, the comments here. I I, I can't put head. 
I can't put heads or tails together with this one. I, I, I don't know whether this is a incredibly broken change or a very lackluster change. So yeah, let me know. So last and maybe not least, I don't really know, is the Templar. So weapon spell damage, crit chance, weapon spell damage. I'm liking it so far. When you deal damage with Dawn's Wrath ability, you gain a stack of sunlight for 10 seconds. Once per attack. Okay. So you can get to 50 stacks max. Um, I wonder if there's an internal cooldown on this. I don't, I don't really know. If there's not, you can get those stacks really quickly and gain uh, 12 magic recovery per stack. So let's do some uh, let's do some math. Let's see, 50 stacks times 12 is 120. Was it, was it that's 600 mag recover, bro? Wait a minute. Math hard. No, <laughs> math hard. Yeah, so if you multiply this by 100, it would be 120. So yeah. 50 seconds. It's, it's actually pretty good. What's up? What's what's 50 times? So a 600 mag recovery. Oh, math hard. I don't know why I struggle with that one. So th that was terrible. Yeah. 600 mag recovery. All right. Go. Yeah. Uh, when at max stacks, your Dawn's Wrath abilities deal 25% bonus damage, and Wrathful Nova is cast on the enemy, but you cannot refresh sunlight. Oh man. And max at Dawn's Wrath. Oh, dude. That's gonna open up some builds, man. Yeah, that, that's that's gonna open up some builds. I mean, Templar is already in a good place. I, I, it's good to see a damage set. I mean, this this is good. Um, this is as far as I know, other than the Sorcerer, is is the only quote unquote damage set that I I see here. So, um, it's kind of clear that, I mean, they, they know what they're doing with this archive. Um, I, I would have guessed they've play tested a lot of this. So, yeah, um, when it comes to, like, like, like rating these, obviously, Drag Knight's top tier. This is the Cliff Notes version. Um, Sorcerer, depending on the damage of X shock value, this could potentially be good. I think Necromancer is dog water. I think Warden is just gonna be more of a hillbot than it already was. Um, when it comes to the Arcanist, again, it was already a supporting class, and then this is just double downing on that. Soul Reaver, I'm not sure what this change is. Someone's wanted to let me know. I, I, I don't even know enough to speculate on this one, to be honest with you guys. And then Rast Sun, I th I think Templar and DK are going to be the the, the quintessential when, when it comes to PvP. I think these are going to be the top two PvP classes come October 30th. I think that Templars are going to be absolutely insane. You could pair this with something like, with like you know Mecha Cuity and because this this is going to give you 600 recovery and your all your Don Rast abilities deal 25 percent more bonus damage. Oh my God, bro, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, you ain't, yeah, this this is your sustain set and your damage set all wrapped up in one. The only thing that you need is to double down on a another damage set like mech acuity or just have a little bit of survivability from rallying cry because you're, you're not going to die anyway if you're sitting in your your, your runes. But yeah, guys, uh, this is uh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. I'm actually excited for once to go and farm some pve content i mean obviously we're going to roll up in here with some heavy attack builds and just kind of blow through all this i was like, maybe heavy attack builds would be good maybe not so we are going to be a pvp nerd for a little while this goes for everyone i think all of these sets do have some sort of a caveat to them uh, there may be some some sets that are clearly better than others like the basalt of blood warrior for example Oh boy, man, the, the Oaken Soul meta is essentially going to be back. I, I cannot wait, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I miss anything? Are there some build opportunities that I just didn't cover? I, again, I, I just skimmed through these. I opened it up, did the record. Look at my hair. My hair's all over the place. You can see how my hair is thinning really bad. But yeah, also the Johnny Appleseed Fort Wayne Festival is tomorrow. If you guys are near the Fort Wayne area, I will be attending that. So if you want to come say hi, um, I will be there lurking around the, the the root beer vendors, trying out all the uh, all the different root beers at the uh, the, the Appleseed Festival. So if you're in town, come say hi. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll find me, message me on Discord or whatever. We, we can meet up, I don't know, play some Pokemon Go, I don't know. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Sorry, it's very winded. But uh, good to be back. I should be having a Sorcerer build video coming out this week. And we are going to um, probably work on the Arcanist build a little bit. And possibly go back to the DK and, and try a little bit of a different open world build if you're not 
I'm comfortable with the crit build. So just kind of direction, a little bit of direction for the channel. I do stream on YouTube and Twitch. Go follow me on both. I'm trying to hit a thousand followers on Twitch just so I can apply to be a member of the ESO stream team. Even if they deny my application, I think it will be a great video and just for content. But yeah, guys, uh, that's all I had to say. And as always, guys, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members. I had to actually go through and do a drag through of all my community members who are currently supporting me. You guys are absolutely amazing. Most of these memberships were gifted to the community by Arctic. So if you see him down in the comments or if you see him on stream, give him a lot of love because he is the sugar daddy for the month. <laughs> Again, this is Horcrux. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.